Welcome back. Now, Namibia has made significant progress in ensuring the inclusivity pardon me, of persons living with disabilities. However, a large gap remains between existing policy and the implementation thereof. This is particularly visible from the number of children excluded from disability mainstreaming. Joining us with more details on this this morning, I'm joined on the line by Alexia Manombe Ngube, who is the Deputy Minister of Disability Affairs in the Office of the President. Good morning and welcome. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. I thank you. Good morning to you too. Just to start with, perhaps I'd like to uh, look at the National Disability Forum. Uh, perhaps you can talk to us about the establishment of this forum and also what the aims and objectives here are. Uh, the, 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 thank you so much for the question. But first of all, let me just um, correct the terminology on people with disabilities. Uh, the preferred terminology is, is people with disabilities but not people living with disabilities. Yeah, the objectives of the forum uh, is basically to bring the cross-section of stakeholders with an interest, and it's for the, 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 the responsibility of people with disabilities in order to promote and support the government intervention on the implementation of the policies. Mm -hmm. Now, the forum also is expected to contribute to strengthening coordination and ensuring uh, the full and equal enjoyment of all human rights. Uh, how is this expected to be executed, Honorable? Yeah, um, the, the, the human rights of uh, people with disabilities should be protected. And uh, through uh, awareness basing and, and uh, the, the, the provision of services, so this forum will uh, basically be working with different stakeholders in order to reach these objectives. And it's, it will be uh, then contribute to strengthen the coordination and ensuring the full equal enjoyment of the human rights and fundamental freedoms by all persons with disabilities. Mm -hmm. And it will also try to help with the promotion of respect of the inherent dignity of people with disabilities. Mm -hmm. Now, as I mentioned earlier, Namibia has made significant strides uh, when it comes to ensuring, ensuring pardon me, that persons with disabilities are included and obviously do not feel left out. But talk to us this morning about uh, some of these notable strides. Yeah, um, you know, uh, Namibia has a political will, and uh, we are talking about the uh, good legal framework that Namibia has brought into the country, uh, the improved provision of services, and uh, you know that uh, there is a social grant that people with disabilities are receiving. Uh, there are also uh, free medical care. Uh, at state facilities, mm -hmm. people with disabilities, particularly those who doesn't have medical aid, if they go to the state medical facilities, they they are not required to pay. And then they, they, there is a provision of students uh, with disabilities uh, by getting a, a, a student grant, mm -hmm. and that is an initiative of the uh, office of the disability affairs. Mm -hmm. And uh, there are also improved social representation of persons with disabilities in Namibia. Mm -hmm. And all this is also justified by Namibia as a country receiving the ambassadorial award, which means Namibia is recognized internationally for these good strides that uh, they have been doing in the country. Mm -hmm. 
With regard to, to school attendance, results uh, show that the proportion of children and persons aged five years and above um, that never attended school has decreased from 30.4%. That was statistics from 2001. And in 2011, it dropped to 28.9%. Um, talk to us about, first of all, what contributed to this? And also, secondly, where do those statistics stand in 2020? Yeah, and, um, sorry, <clears throat> you, you see, we, as, a, as, a, as an office, we have uh, really increased our awareness in, in, in the society. And uh, the, the, the implementation of the sector policy on education, you know that there is an implementation policy on sector education. This policy is very important and us as an office we have really been raising this awareness about this policy through meeting with different educators and and and, and the community in general to tell them about this uh, policy and uh, also uh, the, the implementation of children with disabilities in mainstream school has uh, increased a lot during the past years. All right. Perhaps you can tell us who are some of the stakeholders involved in the National Disability Forum? We, we, we are, uh, they, they are the OMAS, which is the organization ministries and agencies. Organizations of persons with disabilities themselves are involved in this forum. Uh, organizations of uh, people who are providing services to people with disabilities, the academia, and as well as private sectors. All right. Well, Honorable Manumang Mube, do you have any final concluding remarks for us this morning? Yes, I, I, I must say it is really my greatest honor uh, to serve in this position as a deputy minister uh, in the presidency, uh, now that we have also merged with uh, gender equality, poverty, eradication, and social welfare. Uh, and in partnership with the UN RPD, you know, which is now the funding agencies that uh, through the UN agencies, and to the disability movement in general in Namibia, we are really acting as agents of long overdue social change, taking concrete steps toward uh, the day when people with disabilities all over Namibia are empowered to claim their human rights and their inherent dignity is respected. And I believe that together we can continue the progress toward full inclusion of people with disabilities in Namibia. That is my inspiration and aspiration. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your time this morning. Thank you so much for having me. That was uh, Deputy Minister of Disability Affairs in the office of the President on the line speaking to us, Alexia Manombe Ngube.